it's very important to the process of understanding Google Cloud and pass the certification exam that you go through the question and attempt answering it yourself first. So pause the video, work through the question. We'll catch up in just a little while and I'll show you how I do it. In this project scenario, you have an application deployed on Google Kubernetes Engine or GKE. The application logs are captured by Stackdriver logging. You need to remove sensitive data before it reaches a Stackdriver logging API. What should you do? So in this project, we are using Kubernetes and the managed service Google Kubernetes Engine. It automatically logs currently to Stackdriver or operations logging. And we need to be able to remove some of the log data some of the sensitive data within the logs before the Stackdriver logging API gets it. Going deeper into the requirements, since we are running on Google Kubernetes Engine or Kubernetes, our solution has to integrate well and be a part of that GKE deployment. Currently, the application's logs are captured by Stackdriver logging, but what we don't want is that people who have access to the Stackdriver logging UI or the uh, log archives should not be able to view the sensitive information. And our solution has to remove the sensitive data in the logs before it reaches the logging API. So from the time that the application within the container uh, puts out the log and before the logging API gets it, we should be able to intercept it somewhere in between. Given these requirements now, let's look at each of the options. Option A recommends that we write the log information to the container file system. Then we execute a second process inside the container that will filter that sensitive information before writing to standard output. Now, this should be possible. GKE automatically integrates and enables monitoring logging. So any data or any log data that is produced by the uh, container will eventually go via the pod to Stackdriver logging. Okay. And within that, we can disable application logging, but there is no way to directly now integrate, I mean, set options, say, remove this kind of data. Now, let's say we actually do this, right? And it is possible instead of running the core application that we want to run, we could have a second processor, second application running within it that picks up the uh, log data and before it goes into the system log, you do some kind of processing. So let's say we even do this. The problem becomes in terms of both maintenance and all the extra work involved in getting this to integrate well. So this involves extra work, even though I can see that this is possible. Based on the fact that there is excess work, I'm inclined to not consider this as my first option. However, I can't say it is completely wrong, right? It's possible at the container level itself to not spit out the logs that contains uh, the sensor data, to filter it before it even gets uh, out of the log. But since it involves more work and more management and to be able to control the deployment and the container uh, Docker files and all that appropriately, I'm willing to keep this as a probably not. Let's move on and consider option P. The next option suggests that we configure a filter in the Stackdriver logging UI to exclude the logs with sensitive data. So now the container has spit out the logs, the pod itself is sent it to Stackdriver logging and we are excluding the logs over there. But the requirement itself is to remove the data before it reaches Stackdriver. There is no way to currently say, just as it is reaching Stackdriver, to remove that, to remove that sensitive data. And if you're doing it as part of the logging UI, the operations person who has got access to it 
already can see that data, right? So it just becomes too late and therefore option C is not useful for us. Option D suggests that we configure BigQuery as a sync for the logs from Stack Travel Logging and then create a data loss prevention job. Now, the data loss prevention job is possible. There is an API to clean out some of the sensitive data like credit card numbers or your social security ID. However, doing this in BigQuery is just too late, right? We've already got into stack drive logging and the operations person has the ability to see that there. Then we are um, exporting that to BigQuery and trying to remove the sensitive information. It's just absolutely too late. It shouldn't even have gotten into BigQuery and not even BigQuery, it shouldn't have got into stack drive logging. So option D does not suit our requirements and we'll eliminate that. Option B suggests that we customize the GKE cluster's FluentD configuration with a filter rule. Update the FluentD config map and daemon set in the GKE cluster. So FluentD is an open source tool. And what we should know is that the cloud logging agent is based on FluentD. Now this should already give us a clue then. If the cloud logging agent that is used by Stackdriver or operations is based on FluentD, chances are that we might also have the way, a way to configure that. And looking at the documentation, that's exactly what shows up. This is a tutorial on customizing cloud logging logs for GKE with FluentD. Pretty much exactly what is the option suggested here. It says that you can deploy your own FluentD daemon set on a GKE cluster and configure it to change some of the log data, including removing some of the sensitive data. Then, once you've done that, you can update the FluentD daemon set to use a new configuration. And this configuration is a part of a config map kind within the Kubernetes uh, YAML. So it's very straightforward once you know how this works and it's clear that we can customize FluentD configuration and apply the filter rules and then apply the config map to update the GKE deployment. Therefore, the correct answer in this case, to remove sensitive data prior to it reaching the stack driver logging is to customize the FluentD configuration and update the deployment accordingly which is option B for us. Now, it's time to subscribe to all the great content we've got lined up for you to learn Google Cloud and to help you with the certifications. Mm -hmm.